Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Um, Ange Postacoglu to Celtic Greenlight could take weeks as UEFA reveal pro license issue. Obviously, I think we heard this morning now, UEFA pro spokesperson said that Celtic had contacts with him, um, you know, um, trying to sort this issue because he's had plenty of experience, you know, he's got Australia obviously to the World Cup, he's won the Asian Cup. So, you know, he's plenty of experience over his time, so we're trying to get that delay you know, quickened up, we want them back at Celtic Park. Before we get into the video guys, before we get into the video guys, please subscribe and like and I've got to do it, I've got to do it, Neil has got to do it there. Um, subscribe to two seconds, just got to do it real quick. Subscribe to Subscribe to Aiden1882 on YouTube, boom. There you go. You've done seven subscribers, we'll make it ten. We'll make it ten. Um, anyway, guys, so let's get into the video. Let's get into it. Um, UEFA have revealed uh, it could take weeks for Ange Postigo to get the green light to bot, uh, to, bot, uh, to manage Celtic. U Europe's governing body confirmed that Aussie doesn't have the required pro license coaching badge. Celtic manager target obviously doesn't have the badge. Celtic have now appealed, arguing, as I said here, Postigo was 25 years experience should see him granted an exemption. But UEFA, but a UEFA spokesperson revealed it could be a lengthy process leaving the Yokama F Manos boss in limbo. A UEFA spokesperson said Mr Postacoglu does not, not currently hold UEFA Pro licence. A recognition of competence or procedure uh, has been initiated. Process could take several weeks. We don't have any further information to provide at this stage. Buster Coglu started out in management in, in eight, no, 18, 1996 and spent four years in charge of Australia from 2013 to 2017. It's only European coaching gig was for Greek uh, Meninos Panache, Panache, uh, in 2008, but UEFA have now tightened rules. Celtic remain confident he'll be allowed to take over as boss, probably in the provide, provisional he starts his pro license. It's understood talks of managers has progressed well this week and compensation won't be an issue. But Sales could face a nervy wait to get the deal over the line with Hoops squad back for pre season on June seventeenth. It is now a hundred and one days recording this video since Neil Lennon has left the club. Um coaches obviously Jordan uh, John Kennedy and Gavin Strachan remain on the park at payroll and could be asked to be training, which is not good. We don't want to see that. He wanted a new year going into the club in the summer, which is obviously not, might not going to happen. Uh, if he does get the go-ahead to travel to Scotland to find us a deal, he'll need to quarantine for 10 days and that would leave him facing a race against time to be in place for the first day of pre-season in Lennox Town. Um, so it's going to be interesting stuff. So Celtic have appealed for an exemption with UEFA for Ange Postacoglu to be given the green light to manage in Europe. He doesn't hold obviously UEFA Pro license, but the club are confident that exemption will be granted also with his 25 years experience. The process could take UEFA up to several weeks to clear, which is not what we want. Um, it's interesting news. Um, what is your thoughts on it, guys? It's, it's going to be interesting news coming up the past few couple of days coming up and stuff. Um, whether we'll see Ange Postacoglu blue travel to Scotland. Uh, obviously he will, but he needs to get his pro license and I think, you know, 25 years experience, you know, he's talking to, he's took Australia, I told this all this, he's took Australia to the World Cup, he's won the Asian Cup, you know, you think with all that experience and all that stuff, um, you think with all that experience, guys, just got to do something, um, you think all that experience and stuff, you have to say, you know, you're an exemption, you, you've got the experience, you know, you get it, but you could say it's a bit like, uh, Stephen Gerrard, when he went to Rangers, um, he didn't have the UEFA Pro license, but he was working on it when he got there. So you could say a bit like that, but we don't have weeks, as I said in the title, we don't have weeks to wait. Celtic do not have weeks to wait, and it's going to be crucial if Celtic can get and Postecoglou and and it's Celtic get all UEFA Pro license stuff done, uh, get his quarantine stuff done. If he can get that done by the first day of pre-season um, training, fair play to him. But I don't think it'll happen. We're on the 3rd of June of recording, pre-season, first train session starts on the 17th, so two weeks a day. Ten days, for example, if he comes in, I, I don't know if he, maybe he comes on next Thursday, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, no. Ten days from the 10th of June is the 20th of June, which is not enough, obviously, he's missed 
maybe be the two days of pre-season so yeah that wouldn't be enough so yeah it's going to be hard to get this Ange, Ange Postacoglu guy in it's going to be hard very hard um, you know obviously in time for pre-season but Celtic odds are going to try everything probably I know they will but I mean this guy's got experience we just need to hopefully Celtic have got the potential to get this man in time um, hopefully Please subscribe like guys, before we end the video, what is your thoughts on the new Celtic away kit? My thoughts are it is really nice, I like the away kit. Um, it's a nice colour, um, and I like the badge style. I know it, uh, that's how they went with the third kit last season, but a lot of people are saying, oh, it's just, you know, just took it from that kit. But I like the colour, I like the gold, I did this for these stripes, that was really nice. Um, and interesting fact, uh, it is only one, two, three three weeks of my birthday so I'm getting in peace guys